name is Adis. Adis Albopictus, but you can call me Aida. Some of you know me as the Tiger Mosquito, or Tigress in my case. <laughs> but don't confuse me with other species of mosquitoes, if you please. I'm easy to recognize with my graceful legs, my tiny waist, and especially by my inimitable black and white stripes. It's certainly much more elegant than the panther style, don't you think? What age would you give me? 29 days. Oh, I know, I don't look it. Oh. We mosquitoes are used to living lives with incredible experiences. It all commences with emergence, the start of our life cycle. Oh, the cycle of life! Well, okay, I don't have to spell it out. Oh, eggs laid in water hatch into larvae. A larva becomes, yes, a pupa. Yes, that's it. Then there's emergence. We go from the water to the air. It's an enormous step in life. Then we each have to find a male to mate with. Our mating is somewhat acrobatic because it takes place in the air in full flight. <laughs> I simply can't resist the pleasure of showing you a few photos. That's Robert. There's Edward. Stephen. Hans, Ahmed, Sebastian, Zintao, John, Lucian, Orlando, Philip. Now is when I'll have a blood meal to produce my first eggs. Only female mosquitoes bite because the males, well, they have no need for blood. On the menu, human blood or animal blood, wild or domestic. Personally, I've always preferred humans. There's one now. Before biting them, I thin their blood with a little bit of saliva. When it's hot, humans often wear short sleeves and shorts, leaving large areas of their skin easily accessible. My mouth is already watering. They should cover up to protect themselves, but most don't, for reasons of fashion or comfort. Huh, that suits us just fine. Humans have found many powerful ways to fight off our bites. They slather themselves in mosquito repellents, making themselves perfectly inedible. Yuck! It's disgusting! <laughs> to lay my eggs, I need water. Even a little. The saucer under a flower pot. Barrels filled with rainwater. Any small recipient will do. Like my grandmother said, humans are fabulous. They offer you both food and a roof. <laughs> During the 30 days of my life, I will have laid seven or eight clutches each of a hundred eggs or so. They won't all survive, but in such a short time, it's still an impressive legacy, don't you think? But be careful, because the greater our numbers, the more man tries to exterminate us. Because they know we can also transmit certain diseases. In my case, dengue fever or chikungunya. Of course, not all of us carry diseases. When biting a human, I thin his blood with a little saliva. Mm. If he is infected by the dengue virus or the chikungunya, I suck up his blood and the virus. It multiplies in my body over the next few days, and then I pass it on during my next meal via my saliva. I love this part. Because for the time being there's no vaccine against these diseases, the safest things for humans to do is to not get bitten. <laughs> My mosquito friends, and I'm talking particularly to you, tiger mosquitoes. Come join us in the towns and cities. It's hot. Humans and their blood are everywhere, and finding places to lay eggs is easy. The more of us there are, the more we'll travel around the world and enjoy our mosquito lives in total liberty. In total liberty!